Hello and welcome back to the Criticuculus. We're in Empire of Sin and we've just had patch 1.05. There's been a number of things that have changed with this update and of course with a brand new update. What does that mean? It means we do another playthrough in the game. This time, however, is going to be a little bit different. So what I would normally do is make up a new challenge, make up a new set of Nuzlocke rules, but I'm assured that this game is considerably harder than it used to be, than its predecessor. So we're going to be playing this game as the game intended. No special rules. I'm going to pick Salts solely based on the fact that he recently got a little bit of a buff, or at least his special did, his ability did. So we're going to try that out as well. Not a huge fan of Salts, to be fair. He doesn't really have too many things that I actually like about him. But we're going to give him a go and see what we actually get. We are going to be playing on a boss difficulty, of course. We're going to have the maximum amount of factions. And we're going to be playing with 10 neighborhoods. Um, see how this playthrough actually goes. But guys, if you are looking for more playthroughs, if you're looking for tips, if you're looking for any information on Empire of Sin at all, this is the number one place to be. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We have 95% of all viewers not currently subscribed. If we had that subscriber base, it would be absolutely amazing. It does mean the world to me and to the channel. Um, and so, yeah, let's get stuck into it. We also have a newly created Discord as well. It's been up for maybe two days or so. So if you can get in there soon, it means you'll be one of the first people through the door. Um, let's just get through all of the dialogue. I'm assuming I picked the wrong option because he's going to be chatting to me. Like a chatty cafe. Sure, Sal. That's swell, you, Mr. Saltus. Say, looks like we're just about there. There we go. I sell. All done and dusted. So, yeah, there has been a number of things added. And apparently, according from what I've read and the little videos I've seen as well, the Empire of Sin team are actually moving away from updates now and moving into content creation. Uh, we actually have a update gonna hit at some stage. No one actually has a date on it. I think it's going to be a couple of months from now, however. Um, but the precinct's going to be the first free DLC. Um, I really do hope I'm wrong. I am hope it is going to be a lot sooner. Um, but I did also hear them say that they are stopping or stopping videos anyway to, you know, for the summer break. So I think um, that that's where I mentioned it. I think when they come back, that's when the DLC is going to launch. Um, hopefully I'm wrong. Obviously, the um, the glitch that was in place or the it wasn't a glitch, but the exploit that was in place, the exploit that I found that has now been patched so there is no exploit in the game anymore okay. or at least not that exploit yeah let's see who owns this now i would still recommend exploring as soon as you can uh we will request a sit down i like requesting sit downs the reason i like requesting sit downs is because i get a business deal with someone straight off the bat it means they like me a little bit and therefore there's less tension on the board i think these things help i'm not going for a speed run um because if i was going for a speed run i would simply attack him straight away um so we're not going to do that but i am going to try and get a business deal we have very little money um so anything right now is probably going to be a good thing so we're going to try and do what 40 minute episodes today i think we're going to keep going it's going to be a daily release of these episodes as well um just like how I used to do with all of the old playthroughs. I love how the game looks now. I mean, look, it doesn't it all look so much cleaner? I'll tell you something I did do, though. Right at the beginning of the game. Picker, picker. Uh, we're going to do lifeline, and then obviously we're going to go for heal. We've got the new weapon proficiency as well. That's kind of interesting. I like it, to be honest with you. I've already done a video on this. 
Um, I do like the whole weapon efficiency. Screen, I think that 250 or 270 kills is a lot of kills to ask for to get the max um, trait that you can get. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't see any bloody... Okay, here we go. So we got ourselves a friendly little faction. Uh, we can offer them protection straight off the bat and they will accept. That's something that still needs to be looked at, if you ask me. Ah, oh, bollocks. Have you seen this? Right. If we run down here super quick like, they have got the bloody... Oh, they're literally about to get the bloody box. And there's nothing we can do about it. Although, did we just make them disappear? Because if we did, we might have saved ourselves a box. Depends if they reappear in a second. So one of the major differences uh, in the 1.05 update is the fact that I can no longer use my boss ability at the start of the game. I have to power it up. I have to get kills in order to use it. The more kills I get, you know. Um, you see this right here? So the more kills I get, I need three more kills, in fact, before I can use it. So that kind of sucks. What I can do is move in the cover. And then I'll reload, so that way on my next go, I'll be able to use double shot again. There we go. Oh, 68% chance and we missed two shots. That's not nice, is it? That's not nice, come on. We just missed a third shot, 68%. We're actually a very good chance of losing the game right now. Um, which isn't fun. There we go. He's at 15. He could still take two more shots. He's had to reload. He's going to have another shot. 21 for that. It basically means the next turn we're dead anyway. Could it be all over? Well, we're going to have to have a little, little look, see, aren't we? Have a little look. Oh, he's on one half. I thought he'd be on one half. Double fire, and that's it, guys. We lose just like that. Would you add up and eat it? That has not happened on the channel before, um, but it's there. I lost as salts. I'm kind of just going to leave it uh, as me losing and try again. So... As we can see, I think it's safe to say the game has improved. Yes, I did mess up. I messed up with one little move, but you can see how not having that boss's boss ability really makes you vulnerable. Um, it's interesting. I quite like it. I quite like having the boss ability capped out. Obviously, the later game, I don't see it mattering too much, honestly, because at the end of the day, you're going to have a lot more people there with you. So let's load up and go again. Brand new save. We're going to go for salts again. I really don't like that guy. Honestly, not a fan. Um, it'd be interesting to see just how well his boss ability has even moved up, honestly. All right, let's have a look, see where is salts. Salts are one of the very few bosses that I haven't actually completed the game with. I mean, I've completed it with Daniel Jackson a hell of a lot of times. Um, but yeah, Salts is one that I've kind of avoided. I do like it though. I do like the boss ability change. I do think it makes a huge difference. What I do love though is the detail in the game now i think that the map looks so good honestly of course up to anything interesting today mr salt nothing sure sure i hear you oh so we got to talk to him even more because i spoke i, I chose the, the, the different option come on we don't want to do the chats mate 
All we want to do is roam the city. I do think it's interesting that um, that I died within, what, eight minutes of the game? I think that's quite interesting. Um, and it was only two thugs as well, so it's not as if that was a hard fight. That was a fight that ordinarily I would have probably won. In fact, I don't think I've ever lost in the first fight in the game before, ever. So that in itself, I think, is a bonus. Anything that makes this game harder, I think, is good. I think it was it was far too easy, far too easy, and I needed to find the balance. So hoping that the patch 1.05 is the balance that we have been waiting for. And of course, let's remember to take Lifeline again. What have we got? Right, let's have a little bit of a jump. It's going to take me a minute to actually understand what all these little icons mean. Because obviously a lot of things have changed. Who have we got near us this time? Of course we will accept the sit down again. Um... Don't necessarily need it though. Got a couple of hit squads roaming. And we're going to go up here. Is there already a team here again? Are you serious? For God's sake, guys. And they've taken it. I think, honestly, it's still my number one gripe in a game, this. The fact that when you load in, it's not only that they have hit squads roaming around or, you know, search teams roaming around, like these guys right here. It's the fact that they are taking the very crates that most of us rely on to actually get our game going in the first place. You know, I, th I think that it's, it's a thing that's annoying. I also think that, obviously, they should fight the gangsters. Obviously, you saw then that I I didn't get the crate. They did get the crate, but the thugs themselves were still there untouched. Um, I moaned about it in the last one. I'm going to moan about it in this one again, because why not? It's something that hasn't been changed or updated. Oh, these guys are kushti. Let's have a little look-see at them. We are going to offer them protection, and we get a good chunk of money for doing so. Now, one of the reasons I think that having 10 neighborhoods probably isn't um, a good idea is because it's too easy to get money. But, you know, I think that usually in games like, for instance, Stellaris, if you have the bigger map, it makes your game that much longer. And that's what I'm trying for here. I'm trying for, you know, I'm trying to make my game long. I'm trying to... Uh, have the best game I can possibly have. So I've got the biggest map. I'm on the hardest difficulty. I'm hoping it's going to make, you know, a massive difference and a massive change. But we'll see. We will see. However, like I said, one of the very small exploits, and I do believe it's an exploit, um, is the fact that I'm going to be able to get a lot of early free money Um simply by befriending all the lower gangs. Offering them protection. I'm going to get a lot of money for doing that. Okay, so we got our first fight and we got nothing for it. Luckily, we didn't get injured, which is a good thing. We got two kills with a pistol as well. Um, there are some more thugs just down here. Let's see if they actually have... Oh, hold on. There's some more thugs right next to us. Let's go back for them. I'm a bit wary of taking on more than two thugs okay. at the moment. Um, just because I don't know just how much this has all been buffed. Obviously, I try not to save scum and I try not to... Um, there we go. I'm going to try not to die again. <laughs> Normally it's the gangsters that die, not the boss. 
However, it's been quite a long time since I've actually run around with a boss. Uh, normally, I put my boss behind a desk. There we go. And of course, if your boss is behind a desk, the enemy are never going to attack your safe house. So there is that. And there is that. The enemy will never attack your safe house. It's something to remember. Don't waste your money upgrading your safe house. You've got absolutely no need to do so. Uh, so there is no passive heal in a game at the moment. We will use some meds. There we go. We add a little bit. Okay. Now let's see where do we want to go. Lots of derelict buildings. Still some thugs. There's three thugs here. I'm not going to hit them just yet. I'd like to find some more minor leagues. I think that's the way to go at the moment, is with the minor leagues. There's a copper right here. Now you see, I personally um, quite like killing the coppers. And I do it out of love. <laughs> I like getting the free kills. Is what I do. I get a little bit of money. I get a free kill. I'm happy farming cops. Okay, there is another crate here. Let's see if we can... I could try and use my ability. But I only get one. Let's try it. There we go. We killed one with one here. That's not too bad. I think that as they were standing so close together that maybe it should have an area effect rather than just a, you know, one and done type of deal. Oh, we're getting some good stuff out of these boxes, aren't we? <laughs> very, very good. Not. Not good at all. What have we got here? We got a derelict building. Derelict building. Uh, let I tell you what we we'll do. We'll quickly go to the old sit down. Begin sit down. I think that this is a new thing that you can now teleport to your sit downs. I I'm not sure I like it. I think you know being forced to walk about everywhere was kind of the better um, deal there, but you know it is what it is. So we got our first deal done. We got three grand already. A uh, couple more weeks. We could probably hire someone. And to be fair, the Black Book has had a massive update, which I really, really enjoy. Um, I think the update is pretty good, to be fair. Let's go to the second... Uh, sit down, get that one sorted as well. That's that will be our second one in the bag. What do you bring to offer the tongue? Let's get to whatever I'm here for. Good. Move things along to business. Consider a deal. Your casinos are nothing compared to interest. And there we go, that's done now too. Your expertise with getting speakeasy. Now, sometimes when you make a deal with multiple people, you get another one saying, hey, I would like you to break it. You can actually get some half-decent stuff doing it that way as well, which is good. You can get them to bribe you in order to break the deal. Of course, if you do break the deal, people don't really like you breaking deals. So That's also something else to consider. Right, let's go to the loop. 
and let's see what we can find in here. Oh, we just met ourselves another new faction. It's a minor league faction. We're going to get another $42 uh, a week meeting them as well, which is great for us. Absolutely dandy. Is there a box? There is a box. Hello, box. Can we survive and have a fight? So far, we haven't been hit again. We don't really have. There we go. We'll try this. We're actually ambushing, so we're going to get a free hit. Anyway, going to drink some juice. Now we heal me 50 over the next three turns, I believe it is. Um... And we can also finish off the one. Damn it. The fuck? Now, he did take a good chunk, but now... There we go. Damn it. I'm I knew I'd yeah, I'm not sure that was worth it. We didn't actually really get healed, but we did get a grenade. Do quite like a grenade. Okay, where are we looking? So we got these guys. What's this? Is this a derelict building? It is a derelict building. Teleport over here to the taxi. Oh, that's not derelict. That is a faction. Let's check out this faction and see who they are. Hello, friends. There we go, we get some more money again. Who else have we got? Let's teleport, teleport, teleport. All right. And then we'll check out this dark side of the city over here, see if there's anything over here. Let's check out the black market actually real quick. There we go, we'll buy some of these. Oh, who's this belong to? Okay. Use one of these real quick. Uh -huh. There we go, all kushti. Now, I would recommend also doing the missions. I think the missions are going to be a very good place to start off to get early cash. That's something that I'm going to be doing with Salts and his character. I haven't played through his missions before either. So, again, that's something I'd like to do. Okay, so let's have a go. Got to get lucky. In one of these boxes, eventually, is going to be like the best weapon or just the greatest armor it's gonna happen i'm gonna get lucky get on the street. honestly i do normally get a little bit too lucky <laughs> there we go 75 hit done and dusted another grenade bloody hell mate pretty sure i said i was meant to get lucky I guess the luck is that these boxes aren't looted in the first place anyway. Well, we got a 78% chance. Obviously, we've done it. He's going to return fire. We're down a little bit of health. Don't like being down health. Not really sure why that box isn't providing him any cover whatsoever. Oh, we're down to 29. Let's do a double tap. There we go. Obviously, they changed how the pistols interact now too. 
Um, so they did take out that you couldn't attack two people and that it was just a double tap only kind of deal. Um, that's been changed back now, so you can do it only if you do a single hit, you can't revert back to your primary weapon. I think that's fair. Um, I didn't like the mechanic being taken out. I liked the mechanic they added. So I'm kind of glad to see, you know, a bit of a middle ground on that. Obviously, we are using up a lot of meds. But that's what these little bandages are for anyway, or first aid kits. Okay. Now, let's have a little look-see and see what else we don't see. Do we know who they are? We do. Let's have a little look-see. Push into the back ass of the city. There's a lot of blue here. A lot of blue. Who's this? Unknown faction. Let's have a little look. We got another mini faction. Um, which is good for us. Look at that. $112 a week there. We're up to plus 500. That's great stuff. Um, right. Where were, were we in a south loop? I have a feeling we were in a south loop. I could be wrong. Let's move over here though. And we're going to basically continue doing the same thing. We're trying to get as many minor factions as possible, trying to get as many crates as possible, and trying to discover as many of the bosses as possible as well. Oh, the Vice Kings. How are you doing? Daniel Jackson. Absolutely love him. What a guy. He's definitely, hands down, my favorite boss. I have done two boss videos. And both of those boss videos place him as number one. I've got top three bosses on just abilities alone. And then you've got top five bosses, including all your stats and all your loveliness that you get with every single character in the game, really. But yeah, Daniel Jackson. Whoosh, overpowered, man. Overpowered. Even his unique weapon is, is crazily good. You seem to have a knack for sprucing them up at little to no cost. Salts, however, Salts does have a unique weapon by name, but not a unique weapon by game, because Stephanie also has his his sledgehammer. I think it's called the Number Cruncher. I'm not really sure why she does. It's weird, but she does. Oh, there is one gangster up here. Let's try and get another kill. I very much doubt there's going to be another boss there. Fortune tellers, brilliant. We've got another. Oh, hello. Where are we looking? Got another sit down sorted out. Come on, what are you looking at? Nah, it's not here. See, the guards are there, but the crate itself is gone. Just wish that if the AI is going to be looting like that, um, I really just think that, it, you know, the guard should be gone. Let's see what else we can find. A building for sale. I think that's it. I think this is a small city. We could cross over. Let's go to the PR. See if we've got any decent stuff at the pier. Do you know what though? We have been incredibly unlucky. We've actually looted quite a few boxes. Uh, normally in those crates, I get very lucky uh, with armor and weapons. I haven't got any of those things. I mean, I've got a single green shotgun. That's really not good. Hoping this is, I was hoping it was a minor league, but it's not. But that's another boss ticked off at least. There is a thug just up here, two thugs in fact. Let's see if the crate, yeah, number one crate's gone, number two crate's still there. I think, 
auto save. One second. If I engage about here, I might get lucky and not get that second. I can hit him for 78%. Let's move back a little bit, see if I can hit him again. I want to go back as far as I can. Though I don't engage the other guy. I missed a 73% hit. Oh, crap. I've just realized what I've done. Where are the other guys? Whoosh. There are four people right there. That's probably not a good idea, is it? Let's escape, I think. I made a mistake. On my own, with the current build, I do not want to be facing what we're we looking at. Six thugs? No, sir. Thank you. But there are crates here. Crates are good. And there it is. That's where I want to be. Come on, you piece of shit! I should still be able to get out. Um, obviously, I took a little bit of damage. That was annoying. Maybe it's time I hired my first gangster for a bit of protection. The good news is, though, is that the Black Book is looking a lot better, like I said. Toodles. Okay, so we escaped combat. And we're back at our safe place. So the Black Book, where are we at? So the Black Book looks incredibly different. They have moved around a few of the gangsters. Um, which I think is really, really interesting. How are you? And they've actually moved Maria and Grover up one tier. So that's interesting too. Old Clyde is now a tier one gangster, which is a shame. I quite like him. But if you look, all of the top tier gangsters are now considerably cheaper. Look at that. Look how cheap they are. That is crazy good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make it very interesting to see who actually gets hired and who doesn't. Uh, anyway, my first hire. I don't know if I want to hire anyone yet. I think I want to explore a bit more. Save up my money. Um, I did mess up because obviously I've got no firepower right now. I've still only got a shotgun for God's sake. And I've got no armor, so that's something I need to fix up too. There we go. Who's this? We got ourselves another new faction. We get another 100 though, just for getting them on our team, which is cool. Offer everyone protection, that will take it. Good advice. That is something that does need to be fixed though. It's not something I've ever really covered on the channel. Um, but it is annoying. I think that maybe, you see, the real problem with it is, is that if you get 10 neighborhoods like I've got, there's a lot, right? There's a lot here. I could make a lot of minor faction friends, have them all protected. But the problem is, is that the other factions don't attack them. So if the other factions don't attack, and if they don't attack each other that means basically i'm getting free income Ooh, a non-aggression pact okie dokie we'll have a go at that but yeah so i'm basically getting free income for absolutely nothing so it is a good way to earn a lot of money if you can find enough of them it's a bit time consuming but at the end of the day you're getting you're getting free cash out of it, so no real harm to you. Got another couple of thugs here. We did just get our first good pistol. I kind of like didn't even mention it. Um, I'm glad to get it though. Definitely glad to get it. We got our boss ability back as well, and a tasty little shotgun. Um, what are we gonna do? 
We'll try to blast. I'm pretty sure that's actually been nerfed. I remember the build not being like, you know, this particular way. Uh, you used to be able to blast as much as you wanted to. Um, obviously, that's now been changed. And it has a slight cooldown, so you can't do it every single go now. I think that's kind of cool, though. We're we'll trying to avoid taking damage. There we go. Got them both out. Got a little bit more money as well. More nerve toxin. That is definitely what I needed. Note the sarcasm in the voice. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. All right, there is someone else here. But I don't know who they are. I think you can hire them. Okay. Don't really need to know about them then. What about these? Do we know who these are? No, we don't know who these are. Let's go have a quick look. See who this faction is. Apparently I can run faster than... Is that a police car? I think it was. There we go. We're going to get our passive heal soon too. Life gets so much easier once you've got a passive heal. It's another minor league crew. We only get 23 for them. But it's stacking up. In fact, the, we've only got two rackets, which are the first two rackets that you start with. But yet we are making $647 per week. Off doing pretty much nothing. Which ain't bad, is it? Not bad at all. So with our new pistol, we now have the firepower to actually take somebody out. Pretty handy. Uh, off the bat, that is. So we are getting a little bit stronger. Go for the shotgun. There we go. Done and dusted. No shots to me. We've got another shotgun and a pistol. Both crap. And now we've got a machine gun. <laughs> Just had a flashback of... Die Hard. Now I've got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. So we're moving up in the world now. We have got two good weapons. Uh, unknown faction. Let's have a look at them then. Where are they? Now I did see the... Uh, there's three thugs that way. I still don't necessarily fancy my chances. I think I'm going to take it nice and easy. Uh, I'm not going to attack them. We've just met the outfit, which is cool. Um, let's have a quick sit down. So we're doing pretty well. You know, we have got ourselves a few good relations. We've got ourselves some money. We've got ourselves some weapons. Uh, this isn't going to be the fastest playthrough by any means. Um, we even died at the beginning of the game and had to start again. That was an interesting turn of events. But yeah, this is where we're at, which isn't bad. But thank you guys for joining me on yet another playthrough of Empire of Sin. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, then please pop them down in the comments below. I completely forgot to mention that earlier. Of course, you know, through my with my playthroughs, if you've got any questions, if you want me to name a racket after you when I get one, pop them down below. I'll reply to every one of them as I always do. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. I really do. Don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, guys, I will see you in the next episode. I'll put all my links down in the descriptions. And oh, look at that. Tasty. And uh, anyway, I'll catch you later.